Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Ireland Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. As some people might have noticed in the comments, I got my replacement graphics card yesterday. I was excited! I could get back to doing bigger battles, more explosions, all that awesome stuff. Unfortunately, the card didn't work either. So, it's a different piece of hardware causing the problem. Probably a power supply or motherboard. We're still working on it. And I'll try and get it fixed as soon as possible. To say I was disappointed would be an understatement. In abstract despair, I looked to the beautiful skies of nature and thought, Self, how can we make this right? What can we do to make it all better? So I set out on a task. To create a new type of weapon, designed for stress relief and smiley faces. I ended up with the shooty make feel good. Armed with its happy-go-lucky band of six 330mm APS cannons loaded with high-explosive shells, a 2-meter high-explosive cram cannon called Bob, and his two 1.85-meter sister crams, Jenny and Beatrice. That's Jenny on the left. All the cram cannons are armed with altitude fuses and laser designators to detonate near their targets. The Shooty Make Feel Good is entirely designed for space operations and orbital bombardment. It is controlled by a Lua gunship AI created by Draba and will hover well above the target, point directly at it using the nose of the ship, and then blow the absolute shit out of it. With the slow shell speed and high distance of engagement, this ship is pretty poor against moving targets, but I don't care about that. This is for stress release. I want confetti. I want explosions. I want stuff that's easy to damn well hit, because I want to watch the world burn! <clears throat> okay, sorry. Maybe not the whole world. But I'm turning the AIs off and blowing the shit out of some stuff from orbit. Enjoy the explosions.
Ah, oh, doesn't that feel better? Everyone feels better after explosions. Well, except people on the receiving end of said explosions. Uh, <laughs> this thing has been a constant battle of tweaking and various little bits and pieces to make it actually fly and do the things that I wanted it to do. Um, you might notice that the first couple of bits in the montage were a little bit slow and then it eventually got pretty damn powerful at the end. All I did was uh, add mantlets and change a little bit of the AI configuration. But uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this little episode. I'll put this guy up on the workshop for you guys to play with. It is by no means that practical, although it's only about a million RP. It's <laughs> a lot better than the Derp Star. And it, uh, it is quite effective. There are actually functional shields in all this. Barrel protectors, there's another shield at the bottom here. There's a few shields on the inside and they're all turned off when there's no enemies nearby. Um, it's relatively practical. I don't plan to use it in my campaign, but it is actually you know, possible. You could use it, and it will do stuff. Works a lot better whenever there's other ships around for to, uh, to track fire for it. But, yeah, um, I do hope you enjoyed this little episode. Any likes, subs, or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys, and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy, and have a bloody good day. <laughs>